Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fitting out of the blue corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 21 years old, stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, and weighed in at 61 kilos. He fights out of UTC. And tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Francis Russell. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Nottingham. He's 22 years old, stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighed in at 61 kilos. He fights out of Bushido MMA and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Joe Rice. And here we go with the bantamweights. Francis Russell in the dark green shorts against Joe Rice in the blue and red trunks. And expect fireworks and fast and furious action here with these young fighters. As it's Russell who goes straight in for a takedown and gets his man aground very well completed. Yeah, so Rice is on his back. Rice fighting out the Bushido MMA Academy, Academy even. Academy was one of those. Academy in Nottingham under the watch for Lyle Lee Livingston. Russell from UTC. As the crowd have been reminding us throughout the evening. Two very well represented gyms and produced great fighters as we see. Rice looking for the rubber guard over the top there. It's a great deal of flexibility needed to use this technique. But we've seen a lot of exponents of the rubber, rubber guard using it very successfully. Russell tries to slam his way out, but nothing much really doing. No, uh, he's still hold up tight. What I like is he's got that arm, he's got that right arm locked in. That position, he's looking to snake his arm, he's looking to snake his leg through almost to a goga platter if he can. He's got that arm locked up, nice and tight, but he's given himself up to shots in that position. Okay, so Russell sprawls. Oh, nice A reversal. Beautiful sit through escape, absolutely beautiful. We see Judo Jim Wallet in Rice's corner there, clearly pleased with that textbook escape. Yeah, a lot of clapping coming out of uh, Judo Jimmy Wallhead as Ross takes mount position. Mount. And here come the bombs. A look at Russell's legs. Incredibly flexible. It's like he's taken them off and inserted them up Rice's armpits. He's managed to get himself out the back door. Leon you know, Roberts having a word about holding on to the cage. That's, that's several warnings I think Rice has had actually. I saw him have one at the, right at the beginning of this round from, uh, from Leon. Russell's legs just seem like an impenetrable barrier to break, don't they, Ben? Very much so. He's making a very good use of his legs off his back. And he's always busy and he's always working. But Rice, to be fair, has matched him move for move. And now he finds himself in the side control position. Yeah, I think we're witnessing one of the more technical fights of the evening. That's a very good call. A real good level of grappling here. To be honest, we wouldn't expect any less from these two gyms, really. There we go, Rice posturing up. He's going to answer us with grappling. I'll show you grappling, lads. And that was a big shot there, very nice one. Came through, and now he's got the single. Spins the corner and gets his man down. Rice's technique has been impeccable. That is spot on, yep. There's the clap for the end of the round. But look at Russell's legs again. They are high. Unbelievably dexterous there. And there's the end of the round. Referee Leon Roberts gets between the two. A real technical masterclass. I'm looking forward to round two. So we go to round two. Francis Russell. The blue corner with the car key shorts. Joe Rice from Bushido in the red corner with the blue shorts. It'll be interesting to see if the level of technique continues in the second round. Incredibly technical first round. A nice exchange of strikes there. Russell punctuating this combination with a nice kick at the end. Lovely flying knee there from Russell. Lovely kick. I felt that one. I like the way that he's linking these combinations together. And Rice throwing single shots but swinging hard. Big overhand right from Rice. And a very clever level change into the takedown. Yeah. 
I don't think he wanted to hit Russell at all. I think he wanted to lead him on and take him down. And I think as soon as his man was able to commit to those strikes, he went straight underneath. It was a textbook takedown. As we see Russell trying to work an armbar almost. Oh, it's deep, it's deep. We can see Rice's arm is, uh, I can't see any elbow, so that is very, very deep indeed. The very tight looking armbar, and he's landed some strikes from the top, from the bottom as well, excuse me. He hasn't quite got the arm locked in, but he does have the position. Rice doing the right thing by crunching himself down. instinct in this position is to jerk away and to try and get yourself out of that situation as much as possible but that is the worst thing to do absolutely yeah and a beautiful escape there from Rice like you say Ben just crunched himself right up took the pressure off the armbar and then slipped it out at the last minute so Russell working high those super bendy legs incredible dexterity he's there again over on his hips but Rice round his corner receiving an expert advice. This one looks a bit worse to me, Ben, from my angle where I am now. Let's switch to the screens and have a look. As we go for the dump, also a very, very risky escape. Literally a 50-50 chance. It's kill or cure at that point. You're either going to slam him so hard that he breaks it, or you're going to slam him so hard that it locks the hold on even tighter and you're forced to submit. That's it, yeah, and of course you've got to be careful of spiking. You can't knowingly throw an opponent on his head on the mat. So it's a very, very risky manoeuvre. But one we do often see. Russell's got this locked on. With that being said, Rice does the right thing to get himself out. And now he's going to look to work from the half-guard position. I think we saw a little bit of frustration there from Rice as he went straight back in and ploughed a couple of shots into Russell's head. And there we see him trying to pass, and he's got a side control. It's a nice For me, pass. Rice's transitions have been absolutely spot on in this bout. They are seamless, they are absolutely perfect. Look at that, that was fantastic. Explosive oh. pop, almost got to the mount situation, but now he's back in half guard, but it is a wide open half guard at that point. Maybe he'll be looking to land strikes. Yeah, Wallhead screaming for him to punch for the last minute, but the last couple of seconds in that round... Rice helps his man up a great show of sportsmanship and another very close round to call. Final round of one of the more technical bouts of the evening between Francis Russell and Joe Rice. Great to see at this level fighters possessing this kind of skill and this kind of technique. Every element of this game and a nice Superman by Rice. Yeah, they are good. Oh, and a beautiful kick to answer. Rice has impressed me with his all-round ability. I'll be honest. Well, that's very a very good observation he, has sh he hasn't shown any weakness in one particular area so Russell again high guard there's the armbar attempt again and going for that armbar it's really been his go-to move from the bottom you see those legs come in nice and tight now we see a nice defense from Rice on this one do we see what we've seen from Russell is, excuse me, was his flexibility really helps him to be aggressive off his back and to set those submissions up. And once again, we see in the rubber guard. Yeah. He made a great observation in the first round with just how flexible he is. It, it allows him to attack in some very unique positions off the back where normally you wouldn't be you wouldn't be in that much trouble against certain fighters. No, that can unnerve a fighter. I've, I've rolled with a few guys like that and you're wary you're wary to engage because you never know what's going to come from what angle right as we were talking so Rice has taken a top position half guard he's got one leg free Russell trying to walk up the cage wall and squeeze that right leg back round to get full guard and he just about nearly did Rice looking to posture up and land some shots down Right in Russell's corner. You can hear Russell's, Russell's corner advising him to pull him in. And maybe to sweep, and it looks like he's got an arm again. Yeah, there's, there's those. And those, there's the speed on that transition. Those pesky legs of Russell, they just, they just wrap Rice up, don't they? And let's be honest, this, this is why people 
really swarm to watch bantamweight fighters because of just how busy they are and Russell again he's been relentless off his back pursuing those submissions and really meant that Rice hasn't had time to relax at any point when he's been in the guard of Francis Russell no absolutely again another I mean we've got to be honest Russell is pulling off beautiful armbar attempts and Rice has escaped every single one without a single worry so far right we're into the dying seconds of this round if I was a judge I would start sweating right about now this is a very tough fight I'd be hoping for something big a big Hail Mary shot because this has been very close as Rice sits on top and is looking to land those shots you can hear Wallhead screaming go for his man to land those strikes but what a close bout and let's be honest, Francis Russell, Joe Rice, what an advertisement for the amateur sport in this country. An unbelievable battle. I've seen many professional bouts that haven't been that technical. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. And all three judges have rendered a unanimous decision. In favour of your winner, from the red corner, Joe Rice. Well, let's hear it for a fantastic runner-up. Let's hear it for Francis Russell.